All right, welcome to Barley Pop, another episode. Glad you're still watching. Uh, we are here at the Blue Bowl, Blue Bowl, and uh, we are going to be going over some drinks today with Cameron. What is this drink called? This is called the Jackie Gleason. Um, it's a, a blueberry dill sprig drink. It was invented by a man named Bobby G, who actually works for Jim Beam Distillers. Okay. He's a, a world-renowned mixologist. And, uh, mixologist, he, what a nice little title. Right? I want I'd that. love that. I'd love that. But uh, Terry, the owner, uh, he actually met him at a, at a liquor convention down in Vegas, and uh, he kind of taught the crowd and Terry and everybody in it this drink. So, all right. It. All right. Yeah, let's, let's see this be made, because I'm not going to lie. Another drink here sounds disgusting, but I've been surprised <laughs> so far, so let's, let's do this. All right, first you're going to start off with between 10 and 12 fresh blueberries. All right, you're going to put them in a glass, a small rocks glass with some rocks in the bottom, or ice as normal people call them. And you're going to muddle them also with a dill sprig. Now, Terry mentioned on one of the other segments about how you kind of want to be gentle with the foliage because it bruises and it also has oils in it. You want to get the minimum, maximum amount of flavor out of it without damaging the plant itself. Okay. So, so you just crinkled it up when you put it in there just to kind of get all the oils out and everything? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get and then it. And when you muddle, you put your hand in and you move sideways. Ooh, and you jump it out like that. And you just kind of move it in a circle like that. Get yeah, move it in a circle. Yeah, get it. Do it. All right, so that's looking good. Right there we have the blueberries and the dill sprig. Well, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's No, it, it really, <laughs> really doesn't. Uh, next, you're going to put in equal parts, uh, three-quarter ounce, of mango rum and Jim Beam. So, we look at our jigger here. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. Just pour it <laughs> everywhere. Let's, let's go for it. All righty. So, so what... What kind of person would you suggest this drink to? I'm not going to lie because I'm, I'm a, everyone knows at home I'm a big beer drinker. So this is kind of like outside of my realm of knowledge. Like what, what would you go for? Is this another one of your guys' summer drinks? Is this another one of those drinks that you're like, hey, ladies, well, here you it's, go. It's kind of a seasonal drink just because of blueberries. You oh, know, okay. It's hard, hard to All find right. a lot of time. I would normally recommend these to the girls that come up to you and say, well, I want something sweet or I want something that's not going to make me make a okay. fool of myself. And this is it. Well, it, it will. A couple of them will actually get you going, but... So right. then we're going to add two ounces of sour mix. Ooh. I am not the cleanest bartender in town, by the way. That's fine. I plan on licking this all up later. You know, I'm, I'm about to put my two weeks in anyway. Okay, good so. deal. Uh <laughs> and then we're going to add about an ounce of simple syrup. Okay. Just to sweeten the deal. So right now what we have in there is simple syrup, mango rum, Jim Beam, blueberries, and dill spray. I'm gonna take a Boston shaker. Sounds like a really nasty salad. Right. But <laughs> who, who volunteers? <laughs> um, you don't really want to shake the hell out of it. A lot of the times, you only want to shake a drink uh, about ten times is optimal. Gotta dump this bad boy in here with all the ice. Look at him. He's got all these numbers. All right. So many blueberries. So many shakes. What? Oh. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna use the same glass because it's already marinated. Got some more ice in there. And you're going to use a strainer. The magic of television. I think you just edit that out. <laughs> there you go. Good looking drink. It's not finished yet though. No drink is finished without a garnish. And of course not. You want to take about three blueberries, two blueberries. Make a nice little pile right there. Pile of blueberries. Get on there. And then you're going to do the same with the dill sprig. Just grab a little piece of it. Give it the drape over the top and have at it. I feel like this is on a dare, just with all the ingredients. I don't know if you're fucking with me or not, so I'm... Oh, I am. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, crap. All right. Um, this is actually really delicious. Um, the blueberry is, like, it's kind of it's overpowering. You can't really taste too much of any of the liquors in there. The mango has a nice aftertaste on it after you take a sip. Um... Another one I am surprised at. You guys just should mix your drink somewhere else so people don't have to see you adding all this crap in. Cause, but this is actually really amazing. Uh, it is very sweet drink. Um, so if you're one of those people, you like them nice and dry and everything else, don't be trying this. you got to have, uh, you know, for sweet drinks. Um, if you ever already have her naked and stuff, this is a great drink. Um, I'm just throwing that out. Uh, it, it's pretty delicious. Well, thank you, Cameron. This is... Uh, been a pleasure at the Blue Bowl. No pleasure. I just like mine. pointing at your nipple. There's no actual reason I'm doing that. Who doesn't? Um, so thank you very much from Barley Pop and cheers.